Hey guys, Jambo Comics. Welcome back to the comic room. Got a special for you today. Going to show you my top 10 books that, well, they're top 10 to me. The books I picked up last year in 2022. There is no Amazing Fantasy 15 in there, but just some great books that were kind of special to me that I thought was really cool. That I share them with you. These are my top 10 to me. And they're not in any order. So I will just show you what we got here. And this is the only silver, well, Bronze Age <laughs> that made the top 10 here for me. Uh, I've just been looking for one of these for a while. This is the first appearance of Power Girl. You see her there in all of her uh, boob window glory there on the cover. And just been looking for one for a while and never never pulled the trigger on it for some reason. So I was able to grab one of those and got it at a good price. Uh, it's a pretty nice looking book. It's got uh, like a couple of little uh, ticks on the spine right there. But other than that, pretty sharp looking book. Uh, nice colors on it. And just glad to grab that finally. So All Star Comics number 58. And yeah, one of my favorites I picked up this past year. And I'll show you this one. I got this at a flea market this past year. I gave 20 bucks for it. And it was just a great crime uh, comic from the Golden Age. All this stuff going on. These guys hopped up on dope. Uh, he stabbed this dude right here. This guy did. Got all the dope out on the table. Cop breaking in the door. He's getting ready to stab the girl. And yeah, it's just crazy, crazy scene going on there. And was glad to find that and grab that at a flea market for 20 bucks. And this is from 1951. And... Yeah, very cool. Crusade against crime and murder, it says up here. So, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Good stuff. I was glad to grab that. I'll show you another book I got from 1947. There was a lot of Golden Age on my top ten here. Because, yeah, that's what I love. So, this is WoW Comics number 52. With a beautiful Mary Marvel cover. And was just glad to grab that. Like Mary Marvel, she's one of my favorite Fawcett heroes. And just seeing her on the cover there in all of her glory. Very cool. Number 52, Fawcett Publications. I was digging that. Let's see. Yeah, 1947. All right. Went to a few cons this year. Set up at a few cons and uh, sold some books. Uh, with my good friend Bub from Bub's World, Bub's Comics. And this was something I picked up from the Cincinnati Con. And just thought it was a great Airboy Valkyrie cover. There's the Valkyrie. And yeah, it's not a high dollar book or anything like that. But uh, just a nice old Hillman and Airboy Comics. And it's from 1952. And yeah, anytime you can get her on the cover... It's very cool. That's a pretty nice one. I think there's one better than that one, but that one's probably the second nice Valkyrie cover. This is number... Number... Volume 9, number 2. So, Volume 9. Hillman had a weird way of uh, numbering their books. They did them by volume instead of... I think every year was a different volume. So... Airboy, and I was able to grab this one, one of my favorites, uh, from 1951, and Youthful Magazines, and this is a beautiful Wally Wood cover, and Captain Science, number five, so just crazy stuff happening on that cover, got the damsel in distress back there in the red dress, and yeah, just all kinds of stuff going on, got them in a cage, the weird creature there is kind of manipulating the snake monster. And, uh, yeah, he's, I guess, experimenting on him. So, <laughs> Captain Science. Yeah, very cool. Uh, yeah, it had a little trouble with the spine. But, uh, yeah, still, still glad to have that. Some beautiful Wally woodwork there. Nice cover. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. And, of course... Couldn't have a 
Jambo top 10 without throwing some fiction house goodness in there with Jumbo Comics. This is number 70, and uh, it's not like the highest dollar uh, book I bought last year or anything like that. But it was a beautiful Sheena cover, and uh, you know, guys, yeah, I like Sheena pretty good, and she's probably my fave of the Golden Age. And there she is, and it's a very cool cover. Uh, I'm not sure who did that cover. Let me see if I wrote it on the back, because sometimes I do that. Uh, Joe Doolin and Nick Cardi, it says. So, there you go. You know, and that kind of, her face kind of looks like a Nick, Nick Cardi kind of face. So, very cool. I like it. Number 70. So, yeah, I was able to get a few uh, Jumbos this past year, 2022, for the collection. Whittle away at those. And hopefully one day I'll be able to do a video for you guys and show you every Jumbo comics. But, yeah, that might be a while yet. I picked up this last year. This is an Alex Schomburg cover. Uh, exciting number 56. Um. Uh, it's just, yeah, one of my favorites because it's Alex Schomburg. And it's got Judy of the Jungle there trying to help out the pilot. And also had Black Terror on the inside. And uh, just one of my favorites. I did not write the year on that one. Shame on me. But it is Exciting Comics number 56. And a beautiful Alex Schomburg cover. So there you go. Let's see what we're up to. That's that was number seven. Okay, this is number eight. And you guys remember this from recently. And like I said, they're not in any order of the way I like them or anything like that. They're just ten books. <laughs> ten of my favorites from the past year. Exciting number 42 with the Alex Schomburg cover and the Black Terror doing his thing. Great baddies and the red hoods there and stuff, you know, antagonist and shooting arrows at Tim there. So just a very cool cover. Was glad to get that one. One of my favorites of the year. And yeah, we just got that one right around Christmas time. So very cool. And I think I picked this one up earlier in the year. This is Rula number 24 from 1949. Fox Publications. Can't go wrong with the good old Fox good girl stuff. There's Rula. What a what a babe there swinging in. Taking out the the big gorilla. So just a really cool cover. You can see where the red has kind of bled through in the interior cover and stuff. But those Fox books were notorious for that. And uh just love them, man. Great stuff. One of my favorite jungle girls, Rula, the jungle goddess. There she is. Amazing. Speaking of the amazing Rula, this is right up there. One of my favorites of last year. Uh, all top. And this one not only has the beautiful Rula there with a Matt Baker cover on the on the front of it there, but has some Mac, Matt Baker interiors on the Phantom Lady. So, yeah. Awesome stuff. Phantom Lady. Rula cannot go wrong. Had some JoJo in there. And this is from 1948. It's number 13 with uh, Matt Baker and Jack Kamen and stuff artwork. Just beautiful work, man. Can't go wrong with that, guys. I mean, that's pretty amazing. All top number 13, 1948. Yeah, buddy. I'll take it. And that's my 10, guys. I'll throw you one extra in there because I just had that one laying around. And love the Jumbo comics. That was up there next to it. So I thought I'd throw you that one in as a little extra bonus. Just 10 books that I really was glad I was able to pick up this past year. And uh, I noticed that I didn't get a lot of, like, um, keys I was going for mostly fillers and stuff on my runs and my Silver Age things. And uh, just, uh, yeah, some good old Golden Age. I'll try to get every time I can. 
and so yeah the, therefore we don't have that amazing fantasy 15 but you know uh join us next year maybe at the end of this this year maybe i'll have one so we'll see <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, hit that thumbs up for me if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, I'll get back with you guys. Uh, the community is the best part of being on YouTube, talking to you guys. And every one of you guys that come by this channel and look at my content I put up, I really appreciate that. Very awesome of you guys. And I know some of these are not always easy to sit through, but uh, I try to give you some good stuff to look at. And I do appreciate you. I just wanted to say thank you and tell you, as the beautiful Sherry Jackson says, subscribe. Thank you, guys. I really do appreciate you.